I'm Kelly D and today I'm making a quick and easy recipe from the plantain. Now the plantain is a part of the banana family. It's like a large banana. But though the plantain is considered a fruit and not a vegetable, we treat it as a vegetable because we always cook the plantain before we eat it. But if you eat plantain raw, I mean, I don't, but if you do, comment below in the comment section and tell me what recipes you make with raw plantain. So let's go over the ingredients. We have one large plantain. I'm using one plantain today. Now the plantain must be ripe and not green, but not overripe. It must still be firm to the touch, not soft. So one large plantain. We have two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. If you have white sugar, you can use that, but I'm using brown sugar today. Two tablespoons of cooking oil, either soya oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil you want to use. We're gonna use two tablespoons one cinnamon stick or one stick of hard spice this is going to bring so much flavor to these plantains you won't believe it and we have a quarter cup of water we may not use all of this water but we're going to use we're going to have a quarter cup just in case our recipe for today is caramelized plantain now to prepare our plantain i'm going to cut a slit to the bottom and the top of the plantain like this then I'll take the knife and run it right down the center of the plantain, not too deep because we're just trying to cut the skin. And as long as your plantain is ripe, it should be easy to peel. We'll just pull the skin back like this and expose the nice plant. It would look like a banana, but remember it's a plantain and not a banana. Once we would have removed the skin for the plantain, now we're going to cut it. We're not gonna make it too thin, so we're gonna cut this one in just like four. We're gonna make it because we don't want them to be too thin. So now we have our four pieces of plantain. We're gonna get ready to fry them. Our pan is now ready, so we're gonna add the oil. Make sure it's not too hot. We're gonna add our oil, and then we're gonna add our sugar because we want to caramelize. We want a caramelize action at this time. So we continue to stir it. Now we're gonna add a tip of water. We're gonna just add some water. And then we'll add our hard spice so that we can get that flavor. And once it's boiling, then we're gonna add our plantains. Remember, plantains won't take too long to cook. So we'll just add the plantains and just turn them periodically to make sure to get the flavors all over it. There we are. While our plantains are cooking, we'll just add a bit more sugar. Now this one is totally optional, but we'll just add a little more sugar to help the caramelization process and allow them to cook for another two or three minutes. You can smell the cinnamon coming from this amazing caramelized plantain. Now you have to be very gentle because the plantains can bruise really easily and we don't want that. We don't want them to be looking discolored. We don't want them to be looking bruised. We just want them to absorb the flavor from the sugar and the flavor from the cinnamon. This is used as a side dish to complement your main course or you can even use it with breakfast. Caramelized plantain is known mostly in places like Panama, but in the Caribbean, we've adopted this recipe and it is so good. In another minute or so, we should be done. Our caramelized plantains are done. Mm, and they smell so good. They smell so good. They're nice and hot. 
but I'm ready to taste them. You can tell already that this is going to be sweet because the plantain, once it gets ripe, it sweetens. And then you would have added sugar. So this is a sweet dish. Some places they use it as a, a dessert, but no, because we see it as a vegetable or we use it as a vegetable, it is part of, it's like a side dish or you can even use it with breakfast. So let's taste it. No good, the plantain is still stiff. It's not too soft. Mmm. And you can see the coating from the sugar all around it. Now, if you are diabetic, this is not the dish for you. That's my disclaimer. But if you're not and you're in a mood to just indulge, caramelized plantains. Now this is really hot. The sugar just coats it on the outside. Let's go. Mmm. So sweet. Soft. Just melts in your mouth. Mmm. That was so good. Caramelized plantains? <laughs> no, you need to try it.